Well, it's time to talk real estate and we have an amazing property to tell you about today and how you can live this lifestyle if you want to. If we want, when we talk real estate, we always talk to Stephen Delisle with Delisle Properties. Stephen, this is a good one today. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to tell people about this house in just a little bit, but let's talk about the numbers in June. You're always our guy to yeah. talk about real estate as a local thing, not a national one that follows certain trends. Absolutely. We have our own local atmosphere here. Right. And these numbers are presented to us by the Greater Greenville Association of Realtors. So if you look at the new listing slide, it'll show us that we are up 19.9% in new listings on the market this year as opposed to last year. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at the average price slide, we're up 4.2% here as well, bringing the average price to just over $373,000. And the inventory slide will show us that we are up 59.9% in inventory on the market. Now, Jamarcus, I know that sounds like a lot, but it translates to only 3.8 months of inventory, and we've said it on here before, six months of inventory is an even market, and we're still well below that. So some good context for folks that are looking to buy and sell right now, which is always good to have. I mean, what would you say to people that are looking in the market right now, they're thinking about buying or, or, you know, or selling, what should they know based on some of those numbers that you have? Yeah, so let's talk about interest rates for a second. Sure. So before we do talk about interest rates, it's helpful to know that there's a lot more that goes into to what the rate is that you actually get, like what's your debt to income? Do you have any savings? Do you own your own company? So take that into consideration first. Now, a couple weeks ago, the interest rates were floating around 7.1%, and right now they're floating around 6.875. So we're much more stable this year than we were last year. But let's move past the interest rates. Mm -hmm. There's other things you need to think about just aside from the rates. Like we just showed you, the inventory is so much more, which means that the buyers don't have to fight over one or two houses, mm -hmm. which also means as a buyer, you have the ability to negotiate whether it's the ticket price, getting some closing costs to help from up to upfront money, or talking about repairs and getting an appraisal done. So I know it's fascinating to just look at rates, but there's other things to consider as well. Everybody's watching this is probably like, where are they? So this is <laughs> uh, a Greer address yes. in a, a division called Le Jardin. Yes, Le, 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 Le Jardin. Jardin. It is French, <laughs> so we may have mispronounced that. Right, However, exactly. there's so many things that I love about this neighborhood and this builder, Stone Ledge, that I can't cover all of them in this segment. So if you do have any other additional questions, feel free to reach out to us. But first of all, the location. You're on the corridor of 85 and Pelham Road, so you can get anywhere you want to be within minutes. You're also 10 minutes from the airport, yet you have no commercial flyover traffic. And every single one of these houses are on at least half an acre. Some are an acre of land, so you've got a lot of elbow room in between each other, mm -hmm. some privacy. But past that, and what's most important to me is it's family owned. So the attention to detail and care, but because their name is behind this, this product is just a level above. So when they sit down with the buyer, they're also taking into consideration, yes, you wanna build this house, but they also listen to your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna use the space? And then they have an in-house architect that curates a one of a kind, never built again home just for that buyer, which is fascinating. None of these houses are ever gonna be built again. This person owns this, this floor plan, which is really, really cool. And when you go through here, MB Interiors is another um, in, in-house product that will help you design. I've never seen a property like this that feels like so so light and airy and the, the textures and colors, everything just kind of leaps off. Yeah. And you know, the, the person who designed this says, yeah, I, my company helped build this. Uh -huh. We were with them to p pick out all the furnishings. Right. and because they go to market and these products don't exist anywhere else. They specifically pick them out for this buyer. I've never seen a velvet ceiling until today. So thank you for helping <laughs> me experience amazing. that. Well, one thing of advice that I would say is if anybody's looking to move this year, go ahead and make the move and, and purchase the house that you're looking to buy. That fits your needs, of course, but is also going to be the financial um, situation that you're looking for. So the monthly payment needs to make sense, of course. The one thing that bothers me as a real estate advisor is that I have so many friends, so many past clients that say, hey, I'm going to wait for things to calm down mm -hmm. or for the, the market to shift or adjust. And that hasn't happened. So for years, I'm looking at all the amount of equity that's been lost because someone hasn't made a decision to make a move. So I'd say, sit down with us, let us understand what your goals are, and we're happy to accomplish them with you. Now's the time to make that decision. You want to make the decision with someone who knows the, the market and knows the trends and everything. So be sure to reach out to Stephen Delisle at Delisle Properties. You can always go to DelisleProperties.com. I'm going to go continue to explore this house because it's just magnificent. <laughs> you Thanks, and me Stephen. Both. Thanks. <laughs>